yeah, good old Michael Knowles and the rest of the Daily Wire team, Ben Shapiro, Andrew Clavin, Matt Walsh. Then we have Candace Owens. Then we have Prager U pushing forth this notion that religion makes you superior. Patriotism, religion, and having children rate lower among younger generations than they did two decades ago. And they rate much lower. 21 years ago, they took this poll. Strong majorities of Americans chose the principles of hard work, patriotism, commitment to religion, and the goal of having children as being the most important to them. Now, the good news is millennials and Gen Z still uh, value hard work. They still like that. But their only other sacredly held value is tolerance. Tolerance, religion, patriotism, even having children rate much, much lower. This is a direct result of losing religion. Well, maybe if you didn't try to continually tie patriotism to religion, this wouldn't be so much of a problem. How about all those patriot prayer rallies? You know, people are looking at what you're doing as trying to cram a form of sort of religious fascism onto everyone. Now, that may not be what you're actually doing, but you're obviously not trying to do anything to give people a different impression. You just continually tie patriotism to religion and then wonder why people react the way they do. St. Andrew Breitbart, the patron of Hollywood conservatives, said, politics is downstream of culture, and we know culture is downstream of religion. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. Cult and culture are related words. What the culture worships defines that culture. No, we don't have to worship anything in order to have a culture. And this problem goes all the way to the foundation of society, religion. Because when they say tolerance, they don't really mean tolerance. Tolerance is one of the most abused words in the English language today. This started in the 1960s when the father of the new left, Herbert Marcuse, wrote an essay called Repressive Tolerance in which he said we can no longer tolerate intolerance, and so tolerance needs to become intolerant. Should we be tolerant of viewpoints that declare that people have less value if they don't hold religious values up on a pedestal? This, when we, conservatives joke about the, the so-called tolerant left, which is always attacking conservatives and shutting us down, trying to get us kicked off campus, in some cases physically attacking us. Yes, this stuff is unfortunately going on, and it's unacceptable. It is absolutely not acceptable to be attacked for having belief systems. It's unacceptable to try to ruin someone's life because they have a belief system. Having said that, if you'd stop trying to attach people's patriotism and their worth to whether or not they follow your beliefs, you know, if, if you'd actually stop doing that, there would be less people attacking you for those things. You know? But you, you can't seem to help it. You can't seem to stop. You keep pushing this notion that you're superior because you have those beliefs. They're obviously not being tolerant. They're being tolerant by this new definition of tolerance. Capital T. It's, it's the, the value of secular religion. I thought you were saying that society is throwing out religion. Oh, oh, it has to be the right religion, right? You know, just like many people on your side, Michael, pushing this notion that, oh, freedom of religion, oh, but as long as it isn't Islam, oh, as long as it isn't this, and as long as it isn't that. Yeah, you want only your religion to be out there. Only your religion to be found important. And you wonder why people associate your beliefs, your type of belief, with fascism. I'm not saying it is fascism, but... You know, it's, it's understandable why people are associating it with fascism. Just saying. What it really means is it's the value of multiculturalism, capital M, and cultural relativism, capital letters, right? They mean, th those ideas mean that nothing is true objectively. Therefore, tolerance and hard work are all that we can value. The thing that's really troubling about this too, because look, we all like hard work. At least we can all agree that hard work is a good value. Except in this case, it spells trouble because it means that we, we increasingly only value things that have to do with our will, not with our intellect. Hard work and tolerance are values of the will. 
You can just sort of will yourself to do it. Grit your teeth and tolerate stuff you don't like. That's the good version of tolerance. Or grit your teeth and tolerate only tolerant opinions and don't tolerate the intolerant opinions and kick them out of your campus. But you're still, it's all about the will. It's not about actually thinking this is true and beautiful. This is better than this. This is, this is more accurate than this. This is objectively true. It's just the will. Same thing when it comes to hard work. Hard work, you just grit your teeth and do it, right? Not because of any intellectual scheme or reason, scheme of reason, but you just will yourself to do work. Religion, patriotism are values of the intellect. Religion and patriotism are values of the intellect. That's essentially you arguing that your religion makes you an intellectual. Good job. You can't, you can't even really will yourself into it if the intellect won't go with you. You, you subscribe to a religion because you think it's true. Yeah, re regardless of if it's true, regardless if it can be proven. Yes, and that makes you such an intellectual, right? Because you think God exists and he has a son named Jesus Christ and he... Yes, because if you believe in the power of the human sacrifice of Jesus, you can do anything you want, treat anyone any way you want, and as long as you pray to Jesus, you're forgiven. Yeah. Christ instituted a church and you go to mass for that reason and he instituted sacraments and you have those sacraments. It's, there is an act of will, obviously, but it's part of the intellect that comes along too. No, believing in that doesn't give you any sort of intellect. Sorry, man. Same thing with patriotism. You can't just will yourself into loving your country. You can't will yourself into loving anything, really. You can go through the motions, but there has to be intellectual assent at some point. You have to really love your country. Why do I love my country? Because it's a great country. There are lots of rational and logical reasons as to why you can love the country that you live in. It doesn't need any sort of higher power. It doesn't need any sort of higher authority. You can actually have logical and rational reasons for loving your country. Why do I love my parents? Because they're great parents. You know, I mean, it's the same kind of thing. It's the same sort of filial piety. I, I will my love, obviously. I enact my love of country, my patriotism, but I intellectually assent to that as well. And we have undercut our own confidence in our faculties of reason. I would much prefer to love my country because of logical and rational reasons than to be scared of what happens if I don't. Same thing with spiritual beliefs. I would much prefer to have a spiritual belief that's based on logical and rational reasons for liking it or believing in it than to believe in something because I'm scared of what happens if I don't, that I'm scared of the ultimate judgment if I don't. Do you think people should love this country because, well, they feel like they have to love this country? Or do you think they should love this country for logical and rational reasons? Nothing is true. When nothing can be believed. It's radical skepticism. You do you. I'll do me. So now you're arguing against skepticism? Interesting. I can't ever tell you. I can't impose my views. Nothing. Stop, stop being so judgy. Well, you shouldn't try to impose your views onto others. If you want to have your belief system, have your belief system. You know, if you say, I can't do this because of my religion, that's fine. But as soon as you start saying, you can't do that because of my religion, you've overstepped the line. You're trying to cram your religion and your beliefs down the throats of everyone else. And it's not right. And it's something people should rightly criticize. These, these kind of slogans, these kind of ideas are undercutting the basis of our politics itself, the basis of self-government, the basis of open debate, the, the basis of true tolerance. And right there, you just essentially argued that judgment is true tolerance. Good job, good job. When you lose those things, we're kind of living on the fumes of them. We're living right now on the fumes of religion and patriotism. Once that's gone, we have no reason to participate in our institutions. Well, you know, maybe, just maybe, if you don't want patriotism to go away, you could actually make an attempt to stop tying religion to it. To have reasonable debate, to have open rhetoric, to have open discourse in this country.
Yes, because apparently the only way to have an open discussion and open debate is if everyone believes the same way that you do. When it just becomes about the will, then we will assert our will on others. You see the left doing that increasingly. Funny that you'd complain about the left doing something that you think that you as a religious person on the right has the right to do to everyone else. Funny. They are, it's just all about willfulness and what they want. They're going to get what they want because they want it when they want it. As long as people aren't telling you you don't have the right to hold your beliefs, it's none of your fucking business. And that is an unrecognizable country. When you, when you stop loving your country, don't be surprised when you wake up and the country looks very different than you remember it. Just because other people aren't combining patriotism with religion, with a very specific religion, doesn't mean they hate this country. Now granted, there are people out there who hate this country, and that's sad. And what can you say about them? But a lot of the people out there just want to make this country better. They want to improve this country. They want to make this country something that everyone can love. That isn't a hatred of this country. That isn't people not loving this country.